What's up, explorers? Today we are taking a look at the state of Wyoming, which a hundred years ago found itself at the center of a massive presidential scandal. You've probably heard of Watergate, but prior to the 1970s, Teapot Dome was considered one of the greatest scandals in the history of American politics. What is Teapot Dome? Well, this is Teapot Dome. And apart from some cows over there and being very beautiful landscape, it really isn't all that interesting in and of itself. The year was 1920 and U.S. Senator Warren Harding was running for the Republican nomination for president, a feat that was considered a long shot for the senator after his party deadlocked over the leading candidates at its own convention. However, in an act of fate, Harding was nominated on the 10th ballot and won the 1920 U.S. presidential election in a landslide. Campaigning mostly from his home in Ohio on a platform of a return to normalcy following World War I, President Harding was one of the most popular presidents right up until his death in office just three years later. In a classic example of cronyism, Harding appointed several of his closest allies and campaign contributors to various federal positions during his time in office, including his own cabinet a group that became known as the Ohio Gang. One of these men was Secretary of the Interior Albert Fall, a United States Senator from New Mexico who saw an opportunity to use his new cabinet position for personal gain. Prior to World War I, President William Howard Taft set aside several oil fields across the United States as special naval oil reserves, utilizing powers recently granted to the presidency through the Pickett Act of 1910. One of those places was right here, the Teapot Dome oil field in Natrona County, Wyoming, named after a distinctive rock formation nearby that once resembled a teapot. Other than its name being associated with a sensationalized presidential scandal, Teapot Dome really wasn't all that interesting. You see, at the time, only one third of Teapot Dome's 64 productive wells produced little more than 150 barrels of oil per day. This paled in comparison to the neighboring Salt Creek oil field, which at one point in 1923 produced over 130,000 barrels of oil in a single day. In 1921, Secretary Fall got President Harding to sign Executive Order 3474, which effectively transferred control of the Teapot Dome Naval Oil Reserve, along with two others in California, from the Navy Department to the Department of the Interior. Within one year, Fall became a wealthy man, and his sudden rise to affluence raised suspicion. He paid up his ranch taxes, on which he was 10 years delinquent, and oil men from Wyoming and Colorado began writing to their congressmen after they noticed Secretary Fall purchasing more land in his home state of New Mexico and making significant improvements to his property. President Harding ended up dying in office in 1923 from a heart attack, and shortly thereafter, a number of scandals came to light, the most notable being Teapot Dome. A lengthy Senate inquiry led by Democrat Thomas J. Walsh of Montana revealed that Secretary Fall received bribes totaling $404,000, roughly $5.79 million today, from oil executives Harry Sinclair of Sinclair Oil and Edward L. Doheny of Pan American Petroleum in exchange for exclusive oil production rights at the Teapot Dome, Elk Hills, and Buena Vista oil fields. Fall also received a $100,000 no interest loan on his home from Doheny, worth approximately 1.43 million in today's dollars. Six criminal and two civil trials ensued, and in 1929, Fall was convicted of criminal conspiracy and bribery, becoming the first presidential cabinet member to go to prison. The Supreme Court invalidated the oil leases in 1927 and transferred control of the fields back to the Navy. Teapot Dome sat idle until 1976, when drilling resumed, producing over 22 million barrels of oil and generating 569 million in revenue for the federal government over the course of 39 years. It was eventually sold under the Obama administration to a private oil company in 2015. In all, the Teapot Dome scandal, along with several others uncovered around the same time, irreparably tarnished the memory of the Harding administration. Once regarded as the most popular U.S. president up until his death, Warren Harding is now often rated as one of the worst presidents in U.S. history. 
Anyway, that about does it. Please remember to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and drop a comment down below letting me know your favorite historical scandal. If you ever find yourself driving through eastern Wyoming on Highway 259, look for the distinctive Teapot Rock, which will forever live in infamy for being associated with one of the worst presidential scandals up until Watergate. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to get out and explore.